Hello, this is Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing a Windows 7 theme review on it, using my virtual machine, of course. Today's theme is this one right here. It's a pretty cool theme. It has a uh, nice look to it, using custom icons, um, custom borders, start menu, everything. This is a Windows 7 theme only, only works for Windows 7. So it's a pretty easy uh, theme to install. If you do like it, um, you can go ahead to below to get it. Now, before you go ahead and download one of the two random files there, you're going to go and find out which one is for you. So you can do that by going to your start orb, then right-clicking on the computer tab and going to properties. Next to system type, it says 64-bit operating system or 32-bit operating system. Whatever yours says, go below and download the correct one. In the top left hand corner there, you can see in there, um, they're the same thing, just different names. One says x64, one says x86. They do the same thing, they're just made for different systems. Sorry if my machine is a bit slow today. I am running a bunch of different programs while recording this, one including a virtual machine. So I found and also because this, window, this virtual machine isn't um, genuine, I find it a bit slower than normal. So go ahead and open up the one that is um, correctly for you. And you also may notice I am doing a voice over. I'm not actually recording the voice while I record this video. I'm just trying something different. Let me know how you like it. So then go ahead and click yes. Then press the next button. Accept it. The license agreement just has a bunch of stuff like uh, credits to people who put a part into this making of this theme, um, programs, anything like that. So you're, what you want to do is click custom installation and uncheck them. Um, this will prevent the installation of the toolbar. Then click install and it will install everything that it needs to install um, to, pa to get the look. So it's going to patch your computer, it's going to install icons, explore, custom, everything that it needs to install. I went ahead and sped up this part of the video. There's two different parts that are sped up because you don't really need to see them in normal speed. So this one is sped up. So as you can see at the end here, installing Rocket Dock, refreshing icon catch, all great stuff. Alright, so now that it is pretty much finished, just creating the uninstaller. You can click next. And the next thing it's going to ask you to do is if you want to restart, you can restart immediately. Or if you prefer, you can finish watching the video and then restart after the video is done or whatever you prefer to do. Obviously for this video, because I'm in a virtual machine, I can do the whole process. So I am going to restart here. This is the other part of the video that is sped up, so you can see a super fast shutdown and super fast boot up. Alright, so here we go. We're back at our login screen. You can see the login screen immediately has changed with the custom circling icon and the custom background. It's a very nice uh, welcome page. Very minimalistic. Like I said before, because of this uh, non-genuine Windows 7 it seems to be much slower for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I'll get it activated probably. Anyway, so here we go. We're at our official login desktop here. The first time you boot it, the skin pack menu um, will come up. It won't come up again, so just click the close button. Here we have our nice, very nice um, desktop. I love the wallpaper. Um, gives like an abstract background in the very middle, but it's kind of like Futuristic so it's a very cool background definitely um, We have a custom cursor circling around there. We have this Mac dock at the top with a very nice outline um, And of course if you ever want to edit the options you can just right click it go to icon and then settings and You can edit all the settings Doc settings it's called, sorry. And there we have all of our options that you can customize.
We also have some custom icons. So as you can see next to the start menu, we have a Safari icon. We have the QuickTime icon for Windows Media Player, and then just a folder for um, File Explorer. We have a nice imprint over them as well. Kind of lightens it up so you can see it. Here's our custom icons. So they're very nice icons. They're not like a dark, dark icon, but they're nice, as you can tell. And we also have custom back and forward buttons, exit buttons. It's a very nice theme. We have our custom scrill, our, our folding in there to show the s storage space. And then we also have the properties button has been changed to. Start, me start menu lights up a bit. As you can tell, the circle um, opens up in it. And here is our start menu. So that's about it for this video. Last thing I'm going to show you guys is how to uninstall it. So like the rest of them, it's pretty simple. Just open up uninstall program dialog there. And it's there. Just double click it. Click yes. Check them all off. Click the uninstall button. And if it asks you if you want to remove um, temporary uninstallers, click yes. And then you can reboot it. The changes won't take effect again until you reboot. But that's about it for this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or any suggestions for future videos, leave them below. And of course, have a nice day. And I'll see you in the next video. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.